Hello and welcome to the Acunet CRM Tips and Tricks video blog. My name is Jennifer Lupiba and today I'd like to show you how to uh, create a field and add it to an entity form. So in this case I have a software entity that I created. Let me open that up. And I would like to add in this software entity the number of users um, for this software. So that's a new field I'll need to add. So in order to do that I go to settings, select customization, and then customize entities. Now I want to add a field to the software entity, so let me find software. Double click this to open it up. And here is where I can modify and um, add items to the software entity. So what I need to first do is create that field. And in CRM, fields are called attributes. So I go to attributes. I select new. And I want to call this new field or attribute uh, users. Actually, I'll put number of users. There we go. A tab over, we, I would not modify this at all. It automatically fills in based on what you have for the display name. So just keep, keep hitting um, tab. Uh, I could require this if I wanted to, but I'm not. Um, I am making this searchable. And then over here in the type, uh, let me explain what these different types are. An N varchar is basically an alphanumeric um, one-line field. A pick list is a drop down where you could add different types of uh, data in a drop down field. A bit is a yes or no. Yes or no. It also is a checkbox or um, you can hit a yes or no button or a yes or no drop down. Integer is a number. Uh, a decimal is a number with decimals, obviously. Uh, if you have a money field, n text is a multi-line alphanumeric field and you can set how many characters you allow in there uh, I think it allows up to 2000 and then date time is if this is a date field but in this case I just want to know the number of users so I'm going to select integer um, I could these are different types of integers you have duration time zone language I just want none and there we go. So I'm going to hit save and close. Now I've created this field. Now I need to add it to the uh, software form. So I select forms and views. And I select form. Double click this. Here is our form. So it looks very, it looks the same as uh, opening up a new software. So I want to add the number of users. And why don't I add that? right up here in the general section. So I select the section, has a green box around it, select add fields, and I want to add the number of users field. And there it is down here. Now I can move it over, I can move it up, it all depends. So I'll just put it back there. I'm going to hit save and close. Now I also want to see the number of users in um, my default view. So I'm going to go here to Active Software and I'd like to see the number of users as a column. So I'm going to add a column. I'm going to select Number of Users. And there it is. Let's move this over. There we go. I'm going to hit Save and Close. Now what I want to do is um, save and close this and then again we'll go to more actions and publish all customizations. Once this publishes we'll go back to workplace and go to software and there it is the number of users column and let's just open one of these up and we'll see what it looks like and there we have the number of users so I'm gonna put um, this one has 60 users and I could really take that out of the description down here save and close and there it is the number of users 60 so that's how you add a field uh, to CRM and
and um, also add that column. Please make sure that you check back on the ACU blog to check out new CRM tips and tricks video blogs. My name is Jennifer Lupiba. Thank you very much.